Putting on the sunshine. Hey, I love this t-shirt. Yes, good morning and welcome back to Does This Thing Really Work? So, I've actually received all my um, little gadgets and stuff that I wanted to try from Timu. This is my first time ordering from Timu. Uh, is it Timu? Am I saying it right? Um, first thing I must say, shipping was amazing. Not even a week, right? And with Sheen, you could be waiting some time. What was the last one I did? What was the last one I did? Well, I've got some gadgets. Can't remember, but anyway, moving on. So today's product, I love this, right. So, if you've been watching my videos and keeping up, you will know I've got a new washing machine. Ooh, you're, you're all thinking, all right, Mazzy, we've seen that. <laughs> so there we go, it's a twin tub, and if you haven't seen the video, go over and watch it. It is amazing. I love this thing, it is brilliant. But, you know, can't afford that that was about 160 quid with all the discounts I got if you can't afford that oh excuse me I've got a bubble in my throat if you can't afford it or you ain't got space then let's show you my next item now this I'm hoping is going to be good so this cost me 34.63 of a Timu let me just place you there let me just double check on the price on that yes 34.63 right and what it is is another little tiny little portable uh, little washing machine so we're gonna give this one a go here we go and i picked a lovely color or did i pick the color or did they just come in this color i can't remember <coughs> so i had to actually get this out of the box today because i was wondering does it need charging oh, i thought it was usb charging if i'm honest so look at that all right does this not pull up? I thought, it does pull up, doesn't it? So I'm gonna have trouble with that. Right, so this is the little portable little washing machine. Now apparently this is only a 10 watts. So you could run this on literally on the silly little things. You've got four little suckies down there, look. I'm guessing that's your Outlook little, uh, Outlook little, out, I can't talk. Outlook little, little out, out, little, Mazzy! Little output port. Is that the one? Right, I got there in the end. Right, so let's show you around this thing. Right, so you're only now going to see exactly what I have seen. So by looks of it, I think I can tool in it. Looks like it's all sort of folded up in there, doesn't it? Uh, standard washing is five minutes. Soft washing is 10 minutes and a drain is two minutes and you just press a long press on there for two seconds. So I mean, this sounds really easy, doesn't it? You get your little drum. So I suppose I might have to actually read some instructions. Draining basket removal instructions. Uh, draining basket installation instructions. So that's what we're gonna need. So yeah, it didn't actually run on the USB. It actually runs on like a DC sort of adapter plug thing. Anyway, there it is there. Uh, 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 and I'm guessing, oh, oh, that feels quite good. Let's pull this bad boy up. Let's see if we can pull this up. Can you hold the camera for me a minute, darling? I just need to, or can you actually pull this up? It's meant to if it, it extend, if you know what I mean. It's great having an assistant. <laughs> there we go, <laughs> look. Yes! Oh, wow, you could get two socks in it now. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. do you know what? I don't think that's actually going to be too bad. Yes! So do I actually need this? Oh, no, that's just spinny then to spin it when you want to dry it. Do you know what? I'm not even going to read the instructions because I don't do instructions. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm just gonna fill it up. I'm not seeing no waterline marks. Nothing at all. I've had the hot water on all the day. <coughs> so I don't actually have powder. So I'm actually going to have to pull a, put a full one of them in. So let's just put it in. Fill it up. Now what am I washing? So Dan really was gutted today because he wanted to put on his England t-shirt. 
pulls out the wardrobe and it's got all like food stains down it yeah let's just take a look at that and he looks at me as if to say why ain't it washed I said I then looked at him oh yeah I'm having trouble with my eyes today they're really quite gritty and sore so I looked at him as if to say why then did you pull it back in your wardrobe so we've got some marks on there I've got a dress that I wore yesterday so that could do with a refreshing refreshing I'm speaking weird today <laughs> it's first thing in the morning I don't actually think it's even nine o'clock right so what I'm gonna do is Let's take a look what's going on inside. Oh, that's not even hot. Yeah, put the wrong side tap on. Here we go. So I'm just going to make sure basically it's covered. I'm wondering though just how much you could actually get in here. I don't think I could get me dress as well, could I? I will give it a go eventually, but I'm just going to tr try one top at the moment. I'll give that a little bit more water maybe up to sort of this line i'm thinking yeah i can sort of see it there oh yeah that's getting nice and hot now this is going to be fun not being funny i like though if you haven't got space or you can't afford that that bigger one there this could be fine this could be fine just going camping if you're just going away for the weekend in your motorhome or you're going camping or staying with somebody you know it's fine don't know if it would technically could replace like a proper washing machine maybe it could for you if you know i don't know if you'd get a massive pair of trousers in it like but but yeah so this is good look you've got a lovely little handle oh it got stuck to the thingy <laughs> sorry about that yeah let's stick it to the thingy because i don't want this sort of going all over the place all right let's put that down let's plug this in here we go so like i said it's just like a ac dc adapter thing whatever you call it where does that go here we go in the back so I don't suppose you'd want to go too hot on your water because that might eventually sort of disintegrate that stuff. Now I did look, there's no actual um, pipe for that. But I suppose that's all right really because you could literally just take it anywhere, couldn't you? And just unplug it. Right, here we go. Right, that so the handle can't go backwards, only up and down like that. Let's just have another look. It's quite hot water in there. <laughs> right, so what did it say? Standard washing of five minutes, yeah. Long press for two seconds to start. Well, that's not a good start, is it? What am I doing wrong? Is that definitely plugged in? Oh, here we go. I have a dodgy plug. I bet that still is dodgy. Hmm. Hmm. I heard I heard a bleep or something, didn't you? Oh. Oh. It's just started. I didn't even stick it down. Oh no, I can't I can't stick it down now. Oh. Wow! That's, a, that's actually really good! And I'll tell you why I bought it, brought it. Sorry, my speech is weird today. I'll tell you why I honestly bought it. That was because that was before I committed to buying this one down here. And do you know what? I would have been happy with that. Let's have a look. Oh! That's not bad, is it? See a little bit of wobbling. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> oh, the stuff I do buy, isn't it? All right, let's shut that. So we'll give that five minutes. See if it gets out that food stains. I'm just thinking, actually, all the water has gone red now. I'm not sure if I'm keen putting my dress in that. Hmm. 
Not sure if I'm keen doing that, so we'll leave that for a separate wash. We'll do two washes. It's good because you can just open it and stuff and just sling odd bits in. Let's see if we can find anything else to sling in. See, there, there ain't really going to be much because I've been, I've literally washed everything in the van. Oh, I have worn this headband for a couple of days. Um, there's no real makeup on it though. Oh, do I want it to go in with the red stuff? No, I'll pull it in with the dress. <laughs> yeah, I've literally washed everything. I've done all the throws done the curtains, I've done all my rugs, um, all the towels, loads and loads of clothes, I did all the teddies, oh it's been brilliant, been brilliant, let's take another look at this, <laughs> do you know what, that ain't bad though is it, that is actually really good, it's actually very, like soft quiet if that makes sense, and that's handy that the help look put outlet i'm getting well confused then i the out anyway the water it release thing is on that side because then i can just pop it down this sink here sounds like it's wearing a little bit i mean it's all going fine oh it's finished it's finished <laughs> right so what do we need to do bring this over here i'm guessing we need to release the water and we'll give it a spin Right, where's my spinny basket? My spinny basket. Let's take a look in. Should have done the white dress first and then I could have kept the same water for the top. I didn't think. <sighs> but, I mean, obviously, that's just a quick wash. You could put this on two or three times, couldn't you? And it's going to come out even better even still. Right, here we go. Nearly done. Right, so now I've got to find somewhere to put the wet top. Just put it in the sink for now while I try and attach this. So, all oh, right, yeah, just click it down. Brilliant. So I'm still going to have to let, keep that outlet open, aren't I? Because that's going to get a load of water out. Right, there we go. So, yeah, I mean, you could then just spin one item at a time, even if you was washing two or three. Right, let's give this a go. So how does this know now whether I want... Oh, you run through the cycles like that. Oh, I see. Right, this is a spin. Oh, let's pull it somewhere sturdy. Uh, it has to be sturdy. Oh, it's going everywhere. <laughs> right, let's take a look inside. Oh, what's happened to the top? No, I can't stop it really, can I? Let's just go with it. Yeah, the top's like come out of the basket, hasn't it? Part of it has. I wonder if I can stop that. Yeah. Oh, no, stop. Stop. There we go, stop. Right, let's try and fix this in again. There we go. So, how are you meant to then rinse this? I suppose by pouring a load of cold water again on top of it, or, or washing it in, washing it in um, again with clean water. I suppose would do it, wouldn't it? This button's a bit fiddly, but that might be just me. Might be just me. My hands are wet. All right, there we go. Nothing coming out of it yet. light in there there is like a blue light in there isn't there like a little led yeah it's getting it out i'll hold that because i i haven't sucked it down onto the worktop i've only got one hand with the camera so we'll wait for this 
<laughs> it's not the best as the looking of spins, is it? The fastest, but we'll see how, how well it comes out. See, that's it going off on one without me actually sucking it to the table, you see. Yeah, it's moving all over the place. <laughs> that's why I've, I'll hold it. <laughs> Take another look inside. Do you know what? I don't think this is bad. And and considering it actually oh I'm getting leakages everywhere, look. Considering like you know you can fold this thing up as well, or take it camping, you know. Oh, I think it's actually really good. You could wash your smalls, wash your little tea towel, wash your towel. Maybe not a big bath towel, but you know, you can get some small little bits and pieces in this. It's two minutes seems a bit long. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's see how well this is to come out to dry. Okay, it's nothing like like this machine down there. And if actually, let me put you here. I'm actually now going to give that a squeeze. Oh, I bet I can get some water out of that yeah see that yeah even I'm getting water out of that but is it bad it's not bad it's not terrible there we go not terrible let's see if it got the stains out how long did that take five minutes and two minutes of spinning seven minutes and I've washed that stop <laughs> see if it got the food out you know what, I think that's actually even got the food out. There we go. So to rinse that now, you'd probably would want to fill this back up with cold water or whatever. I'm just trying to put the um, the outlet plug back in. So I'm going to do another load. So I'm going to leave that in the sink because I'm going to rinse that properly myself in a minute. All right, let's fill this up again. Actually, I'll put that there for now let's see if there's any sort of residue so that that's a little bit of residue in there so how do you take this out mm. how do we take this out do you just pull it oh don't tell me i'm gonna have to read an instruction <laughs> right okay it says number one rotate the draining basket to find the fixed position And then place your hands in the fixed position and you should be able to remove it easily. So I suppose it's just a matter of keep turning it around until it releases itself, is it? I mean, that doesn't really make sense. I mean, it does, if it worked. Place. Hmm. Let's give it a go. Let's put the camera down for a second. Oh no, I'm going to get all red stuff on me t-shirt. Get away from me, yo. <laughs> right, so I'm going to keep turning it while trying to pull. No, I'm finding that really hard. They're small in this. That's the whole, look. This is, this is the whole convenience of it, look. That's all it is. And let's be real, that isn't bad at all. No, I don't know how to release it, though. Apparently, I'm going to be able to do it with ease. Rotate the draining basket to find the fixed position. Hmm. Place your hands in the fixed position and should remove easily. So it just looks like she's doing this, but I suppose you're gonna have to keep turning it around to find that fixed position. <laughs> How easy was that? <laughs> so there we go, that's the bottom of the drum now. I'll just give that a quick rinse out. It's got some of the sort of like red juice and stuff in there. I'll give this basket a quick rinse as well because that's got red stuff all over it. So yeah, that was easy. Well, it wasn't. It took a little bit of doing. Right, I'm just going to rinse this out and then we'll give it another go. 
Should we give it another go or are you, or are you bored already? <laughs> all right, let's fill this up. Oh no, I haven't pulled it up. I'm a little bit all over the place with this one. Right, so how do we actually pull it up? How did Dan do that? Stick it on the table and pull. Did he push it down, did he? Oh yeah, yeah, just sort of put your hand in and push it down. Right, there we go. I'm actually really quite impressed with this. <laughs> right, let's get this filled up. Oh, so now I've got to use some more powdery stuff, haven't I? Right. Which is annoying. <laughs> Here we go, I've only got two left. <laughs> No, probably go and shop in tomorrow so I'll get a load more. Alright, let's put this in there. I'm actually loving this. I think this is really good for £34.63. And actually, they did have cheaper, I think like about £22. But I'm guessing the cheaper ones might have been smaller. I'm only guessing that. Or well, maybe they weren't so good. So I went for the more expensive one and actually... The reviews on this and loads of people had been clicking on it and buying it that particular day so yeah so i'm guessing this is probably going to be a better one you know what i'll sling some tea towels in as well <coughs> let's see how much this time we can get into it all right let's bring you down over here all right so i'm gonna do my dress Oh, that's a bit hot. Let's put you a bit on cold on. Do a tea towel. I'm going to do two tea towels. You know, if you can get a dress quickly cleaned, hung out on the line, you'd be well chuffed, wouldn't you? This time now, I'm going to do this for maybe three cycles so it's had 15 minutes and then I'll take come back and show you how well it's done so let's take for example again my dress had sort of like sort of makeup stains on it and stuff I can't really show ya I mean it, you can see it looks a bit grotty a little bit grotty there kind of thing the tea towels just needed refreshing really so yeah, we'll make sure that's covered in water and then we'll get that stuck up there and we'll do a few cycles on it. I decided I'm not going to put my headbands in on this one. <laughs> right, let's get this out. That's why it's handy to have your hand up. There we go. I'm going to place that there. Oh, it's leaking. It's leaking. Where's it leaking from? Oh no, <laughs> oh no, it's leaking, ouch. Oh, maybe I filled it up too much. No, nope, it's leaking. Let's take some of this out. I need to find out where this is leaking. This is like plugged into the electric at the moment. I'll just dump that down there for a minute. And that. Ooh, you can see how dirty the water is though. <laughs> Let me just dry my hands. So there is water everywhere. All around the electrics now. I'm a little bit scared. So why is that leaking? See that look? coming out of a hole at the bottom. See that? Why is that leaking? Why would that be doing that? That didn't do that the first time round. Don't trust it now. I'm going to have to... Oh, I've got wet hands. I'm going to have to unplug it from the mains. I'm a little bit nervous about this now. See, watch, look. It's actually coming out of some holes at the bottom. See these holes there, look. Why is it coming out of these holes? I didn't 
do that to start with, did it? Nearly the whole tub of water's gone. Let's empty it out. That's where it's coming out, look. These holes. That's a bit bloody dangerous, isn't it? Now, why is that doing that? Oh, you know why? When I've taken the basket out, look, it's actually taken the spinny bit out with it. Oh, so that's why the water's got getting like down there. So I didn't do it at all. No. Right, I'm gonna have to see if Dan can get this off the basket and we'll try again. There is literally water all over the electrics. I'm gonna electrocute myself. I'm scared. So this has been a bit of a nightmare, if I'm quite honest. Right, so managed to get this off that. Now, for the palaver it took, and because it doesn't really spin properly anyway, I probably just wouldn't even use that. Just use this as a washer. I'm going to place this back down in the centrepiece down here. I mean, you can use it if you want. But like I said, I mean, it didn't really, really spin it. You'd, you'd be better off just uh, wringing it out with your hands. So I've got a fine hole. There we go. So that's insecure. So I'm never going to put that back on there again. Me and Dan have been at it for the last 20 minutes. It's took ages. <coughs> uh, it's, up, it's your choice whether you'd like to use that or not. I wouldn't waste me time. <laughs> right, so I'm going to fill it up now. I'm just going to use cold water. I haven't got, I'm not going to waste another detergent on it. And I'm just going to pull it on a little cycle with me dress and see what happens. Yeah, this time though, I will see if I can still get the two tea towels in as well. Let's see how much we can actually get into this. Yeah, that was a little bit dangerous because then water was going everywhere. And I'm guessing with that plugged back in, the water can't leak now. Right, let's grab the little odds that I was going to wash. Let's put these back in. I'm going to dump them all in. Why not? Let's see how well it does. I thought I just saw something there. Like a little yellow mark. Right, let's get this up here securely. Right, so let's be real. I did nearly electrocute myself, didn't I? So that's covered well. Let's just give that a quick... I mean, the clothes in there has got um, detergent on it anyway. So, standard washing. Let's see if it can manage all that. Mm, can't, can it? No. Let's take the dress out. Take the dress out. Oh, now what? Is it broke now? Yeah, it's not turning now. I was really impressed with this thing. <laughs> I advise you, if you're going to get one, just don't put that, don't fiddle with the basket or that plate at the bottom. Now I don't know what to do. It's obviously not working, is it? Um, I mean, it feels like it's in there securely. Let's try again. Button is a bit iffy, isn't it? Or is it my plug come out again? No, it's not even turning on now. Nope, it's not even turning on. Right, I've got wet hands. I'm messing with electric. Let me put you down for a minute. So I've got it on, but it's not working. I'm gonna empty the water out. Let me try a different cycle. No. So try a spin drain. No. Right, let's turn this off. Do you know what I think it is? When this bottom plate came off with the basket, all the water was coming out of the, the bottom there, wasn't it? I'm thinking the whole lot's got wet. I'm thinking the whole lot got wet. Let me just turn this off. 
whole lot got wet and it's ruined maybe the internals. Do you know what I'm gonna have to do? Dry it all out. Uh, but that's my review on it and what do I think of it? Initially it was brilliant as a little washer until I put this in which didn't really spin properly anyway. I mean yeah it drained the water but I mean you could have just tipped the bucket up anyway. I'm just left with now a load of electric. I'm going to electrocute myself and a load of wet washing and water everywhere. Would I buy it? I would definitely buy it again yeah but I wouldn't put that on or mess with that bottom plate. So I'm going to give this quite a few days just to dry out and see if it works again in a few days. Because, you know, the water was coming out of here, basically, wasn't it? So it's obviously gotten into all the internals by that bottom plate coming off with the basket, which then wasn't technically my fault. It's a stupid idea, isn't it? <laughs> if that's not easily removable. And all, you watched me do it. All I did was go like that. And then I was like, oh, it came off. So, yeah. Would I buy it? Yeah, I definitely would. I'm not going to run it down, actually. I think still it's amazing. And ho I'm still got my fingers crossed. That'll dry out. And hopefully it'll work, let's say, in a week or so. So I'll do a little update on that. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I got one T-shirt wash, didn't I? So not terrible. But, um, yeah, I actually enjoyed the product. I'm not going to run it down at the minute. And we'll come back to it in a week and again, like I said, and see if it give an update, see if it's dried out and stuff. Right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Gonna love you and leave ya. Take care. Love y'all. Ready for the next one. Bye! Now that's how you do a proper load of washing.